Hey, what's up, YouTube? Jack in the Box here with another application. Uh, you guys are probably wondering why you're looking at my Apple computer desktop. Well, it's because this application that I'm going to be showing you involves a computer, and this application is easiest to set up on a MacBook. So I'm going to be showing you how to set it up, and I'm going to be showing you a review on the application. Now, just note this application is is kind of expensive in the App Store. It's twenty four ninety nine, but it's really worth all the money you pay for it. Cause I'm, cause what it does is it lets you control your computer from anywhere in the world. So, let's say you're you're in the United States and you go on vacation to Florida, and you leave your computer open. It lets you control your computer from Florida, when the computer is really in the United States. So, yeah, here's my computer, and. The application is called Jadu VNC. Again, it's twenty four ninety nine in the App Store. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on my my iPhone. All right. So this is the application. So first thing it does is it comes up to servers. Now I already stored my computer in there, but I'm gonna be showing you how to how to add your computer. This only works on MacBook. On any other computer, it's hard to download. It's hard to do. Like, cause you have to download something called Ultra VNC and everything, set it up. It's a long process, but on the MacBook, it's easy. It takes less than a minute to do, and I'm gonna show you what you have to do. So mine is already stored, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on your computer on the MacBook. So what you want to do is go into System Preferences, and you click on Sharing. So it's loading. All right, so it's locked, so I'm gonna have to unlock it because I have a password on my computer. So I'm gonna type my password. Okay, so now I'm in. So what you wanna do is, you wanna make sure screen sharing is checked off. So you're gonna have these over here, and it's gonna give you like a thing that says services, and you're, it's gonna give you, it's you're gonna have a list, and there's gonna be some checks on the side. So you're gonna see where it says the first thing it says is DVD or CD sharing. The th the one right on the bottom, the second one, it's gonna say screen sharing. So you wanna check that off. And when there's a check, you hit computer setting, and you're gonna you're gonna have two options. So you click on the one you click you. You want to make sure the one that says anyone may request permission to control screen. You want to make sure that's off. It's not checked. And the one that says VNC viewers may control your screen with password. You want to make sure that one is checked. So the first the first box is going to be unchecked. The second box is going to be the one that says VNC is going to be checked. And then since I have a password on my computer, it's going to ask me for my password. So once you're done with that, you just hit OK. And then what you're gonna exit this. You're gonna exit system preferences. And then if you if you look on your iPhone in the application Jadu VNC, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be stored in servers. So I have three servers. I have my mother's, my brother's MacBook, and my MacBook. So I'm gonna click on my MacBook, and when this happens, it's gonna it means it's connecting. So right now I'm connected to my computer. See, look, I'm going to look at the mouse and the white Apple logo. See, now I'm going to go to the bottom. Yeah, and I have LimeWire. I have all the stuff here. I have iTunes. It's like, basically, I'm on my computer, and I could do anything I could do that I could do on my computer, except for iChat, of course, because there's no video camera on the phone. So I'm going to open up Safari. And let's see my computer. And look what happened. It opened up. I don't know what the hell that is, but okay. And I'm going to click on the search bar. And I'm, and if you see right there, it has a, it's, the, it's a keyboard. So when you click on it, this comes up. And you're, I'm just going to delete that, whatever. And you can also zoom in and everything. 
I'm gonna go to uh, Facebook. Um, whoops. Here, F A C E B O O K. Dot com. And hit return. So now it's loading. This application is, it really deserves a review and a thumbs up. And it's really worth all the money that you pay. Literally, it is. So it's loading. Something's really wrong with my internet. It's going so slow. I'm going to exit the keyboard. All right, so now I'm on Facebook. So now I can look at, uh, look, you could see the mouse. Yeah, so I'm basically on the internet and I'm controlling my computer. So $24.99, the App Store, um, rated four stars. It's a very cool application. It's worth all the money you pay. Please, please check out my other videos. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and hope you enjoy the application. Thank you.